Yeah. Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth video. So this is probably the video you've all been waiting for. We'll do the layup with Kevlar and uh, carbon fiber. We'll do the infusion. We'll do the demolding as well and the finishing of the parts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check it out. And if you haven't seen the previous ones, the links are in the description. We are ready to make the rally fairing now. And like we said in previous videos and tutorials, we'll be using uh, carbon fiber and aramid fiber. So aramid fiber, fiber also known as Kevlar, is good against impacts and carbon fiber will give it some stiffness. Why, what technique we'll be using is called resin infusion. So resin infusion is where you inject the resin uh, through vacuum. It's quite complicated. We, we won't go into too much detail in this video series, but if you want, you can check some of my other videos on my YouTube channel just to find like the, the right video. I'll add a video in the top right that you can find explaining it in more detail. So here are the fabrics that we will be using. So we have a carbon fiber uh, twill weave 650. We have a carbon fiber 200. So this is the aramid fiber. It's very difficult to cut, so I'm, I'm not using it that much. Uh, but for this part, it's like really good to have it because I hope that you won't crash with your motorcycle. But probably it will happen. So in that yeah. case, the cover will be uh, helpful. Good. Yes. So after that, we'll be using some peel ply. Peel ply will help us to remove all the layers after the, after this. So this will be the um, infusion mesh and the vacuum bag, and also remove excess resin and give it a nice finish on the back. We are ready to do the resin infusion now. So um, we let the entire part overnight with the two clamps uh, shut down. And now we're sure that we have a full vacuum before doing the infusion. So as you can see in the molds, we have on the surface the bag and it's pretty tight against the part. Then we have the peel ply that's still visible and the infusion mesh. So the infusion mesh will make it possible for the resin to flow all the way to the ends to the side of the vacuum. So this is the infusion side. So uh, we'll put a cup right here with some epoxy resin in it. And then we have the uh, resin out that is going all the way to the pump. So uh, you can see the pump right there. For resin infusions, we'll be using the IN2 infusion resin from Easy Composites. You cannot do this with the laminating resin. This is a special resin that is very liquid. So it's able to flow all the way through the parts. With a laminating resin, it would be too uh, the viscosity would be too high, so it won't flow all the way through. The good thing is with this type of resin, you can choose between the fast and the slow hardener. We'll be using a mixture of the two, so that's also a cool thing. You can decide on your own what pot life you want to have. So with this one, you would have a pot life of around one hour. This would be this is really fast. On the website, they say like about half an hour, I think. I had some parts where I only had 10 minutes. So um, we'll be mixing this in a ratio of uh, two parts of this and one part of uh, the fast. So about the ratio in total, so it's 100 on 30. 
So we'll be mixing 500 of the uh, A and then we'll be adding um, 500 and 30 percent. Uh, you multiply by 3 and you get 150. So we'll have a total of 100 and uh, 650 grams. And we'll be mixing this in, I think it's 120 grams of this one and I think 30 of, of okay. the fast. We are in a very hot uh, environment now because it's very co cold outside, so we're heating the... Uh, so this is my office, this is where I edit the <laughs> videos as well. So you can see here the... Um, Working station. Yeah, so part three is being edited now. So we're going fast through the videos. Okay, so we've waited for 48 hours and the part is cured now. So make sure you wait for more than 24 hours. As you can hear, like now it's fully cured. And then we'll do the demolding and uh, check the part out. So Mathieu, do you have some extra tips for removing uh, the peel pipe? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> wear some gloves. Um, I've noticed it, noticed it myself a lot. These edges can be extremely sharp um, while removing the peel ply. Sometimes like you, you lose track of the peel ply and then you scratch all the way around. And uh, there are very sharp edges on here. So make sure to, um, to wear some gloves. Booyah. Yeah. Looks red. All pinholes here, but um, with some sanding, I think we can uh, we can uh, sand it off, so it will be fine. Awesome. It's pretty lightweight as well, and it will be trimmed even more, so it will be even lighter. And I would like the question: How strong is it? <laughs> it's pretty hard to measure, but I think we you've been a bit high on the layup. This is plenty of strong for what it will be uh, used for. It is looking quite nice after some cleaning. I think it will be a, a cool piece. Okay, so the part is sanded now and now we're ready for clear so that will be the next step and then tomorrow we'll be able to mount it on the motorcycle so this is sanded with a 500 and that's mostly what i do before clear coating It's 7.30 in the morning, the parts were just painted yesterday evening, so till I think it was 10, 10 and a half before I finished. Um, so I just got a few shots, we'll check out how the, the part looks now and then bags should arrive pretty soon. Bags just arrived, so um, 
I'll show him the piece. I hope he will like it. Uh, because I didn't tell him it would be a mad finish. So um, I hope you will like it. Hi. Hey. Come in. You? Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, so, it looks good. It's like with a little grain in it or... It's nice. Texture. Yeah, so. texture, yeah. Awesome. Can I touch it? Can I take it? Yeah, sure. Nice. So, the part is on. And I think it looks quite nice. We installed some guards on it, some metal, uh, some metal guards there, uh, like this, and then we bolted it also with some bolts there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It's very nice. Mm -hmm.